We are learning more tonight about the father who Salt Lake police say killed his 16-year-old son and then himself at an office complex over the weekend. Police identified that man today as 49-year-old Parth Gandhi, a local neuropsychologist who spoke to Fox 13 News back in 2020 about the medicinal use of psychedelics. There was a counterculture and an alternative culture that started using them in a recreational way, and I wish we could remove that stereotype. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold spoke with two people today who had known Gandhi through his experience with health and fitness. Chris joins us in studio tonight. Chris. Well, yeah, Bob, those I talked to today that knew Gandhi say while he was passionate about his profession, he also had a real love for yoga and for helping others, which is why they tell me they were left in complete shock about what happened with both Gandhi and his teenage son this past weekend. I just always knew him as a great guy. He was um, very committed to fitness and yoga. Denise Drew says she met Parth Gandhi 12 years ago. He was a student in my yoga and cycle classes at 24 Hour Fitness. Drew remembers Gandhi as a people person. He ran events at his house, yoga events and meditation events. Um, I was at his house a couple of times and was able to meet his kids. He was always very inclusive. He would have people over to his house, just friends gathering, trying to help people. Rachel Sisowitz yeah. owns Centered City Yoga, where Gandhi taught yoga classes from 2018 until the COVID-19 pandemic hit in 2020, and periodically after that until about a year and a half ago. We had youth groups at our studio. He would volunteer and teach for free just to help the kids. Which is why it's hard for Drew and Sisowitz to understand the events that took place on Saturday when Gandhi and his 16 year old son were found dead inside an office building in Salt Lake. Gandhi had an office in the complex in the 2900 block of South Highland where he worked as a neuropsychologist. Detectives say Gandhi killed his son before ultimately taking his own life. It just reeling over it. I'm in utter shock. It is not something I ever see coming from him at all. For those who knew and shared that same passion for health and fitness with Gandhi, they are now left with more questions than answers. I, 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 I don't know why. I just don't know why. And it's, it's heartbreaking. It's devastating. But until we have more details, um, I'm, I'm going to reserve judgment and um, just hold a lot of compassion in my heart for the people who are left in the aftermath of this. Well, as part of the investigation, police did conduct a welfare check at Gandhi's residence near Sunnyside Park. However, details about what may have been discovered at that time have not been disclosed. In studio, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.